<laughs> but hopefully that will be the last time. Um, but my journey into this whole arena of uh, conservative values just kind of started when uh, the whole Black Lives Matter movement started. So those, so that's what catapulted me into being a conservative. Now it took some years for that to happen, for that to manifest itself, but I can say that was the catalyst for me becoming a conservative. Um, when the movement started, I was actually a liberal. I, I was a staunch liberal. I was a Bernie Sanders supporter, you know, feel the burn. I was so much of a Bernie Sanders supporter that I had a Bernie Sanders birthday cake. Nice. Like, like seriously, yes, I had a Bernie Sanders birthday cake. I was anti-gun. I was pro Medicare for all. I was all that stuff, right? And, um, you know, while I was going through my, my, my liberalism, I was a Young Turks fan also, um, I still didn't necessarily agree with the whole Black Lives Matter movement. And this is before the Democrats like wholeheartedly embraced the Black Lives Matter movement. I guess they didn't realize how much um, votes they could get off of this movement back then. But, um, you know, I just found out that there were some things that the media was not being truthful about, right? So with the, with the whole Mike Brown situation, not sure if everyone remembers that situation where it started the whole hands up, don't shoot thing. Okay. Yeah. And they said that he had his hands up and the police officer shot him with his hands up. He wasn't doing anything wrong. Um, but in my mind, growing up as a black person and being around black people my whole life, that didn't sit right with me because I was thinking, that's not how black people act usually. You know, it's usually not, oh, I'm just innocent. I didn't do anything wrong. Like usually it's, well, they may have been a little aggressive. They may have talked back a little bit. Like, you know, it's it's always something that happens, right? We, do, we don't take stuff lying down. I'd say that. that yeah. That's the type of people that we are. We do not take stuff lying down. So when I heard about this story, it just didn't sit well with me. Mm -hmm. And then I would watch CNN. I would see the different interviews they had of these so-called witnesses. And all the witnesses had their lawyers present. So that started me thinking now, why do these people have to have their lawyers if they just observed something happen? So it must be more to it than just, well, they just observed something happen. And then I saw this video, I think it was on Instagram, where there was a guy and he was kind of speaking off camera. And he said, I don't know why he would rush the cop like that. Like, why would he do that? And I'm like, hmm. This totally goes against the yeah. narrative that's out there. Yeah. And I'm like, this person wasn't on CNN. This person wasn't on any mainstream news um, show or anything like that. It was just somebody speaking off the cuff and, and he didn't even know he was being recorded. So I would, I would tend to believe the person who doesn't know they're being recorded versus the person who's under the, uh, who's in front of the camera and the lights. So yeah. I said, Okay, I think that's the real story. Mm -hmm. But then I also thought about it. I said, why? Okay, this has come out. Why hasn't CNN covered this side of the story? Mm -hmm. Why are they only, they're only sticking with this narrative about him having his hands up and telling the cop not to shoot him and the cop just shooting him in cold blood for no reason. So I started digging deeper into that situation. And then the autopsy came out and they said, there's no way that he could have had his hands up based on the autopsy report. So, and then more information started coming out about this case and what actually happened. Another video came out showing him in the store where he pushed the store clerk out of the way. Then another video came out that showed him actually grabbing the, um, I think it was cigars or cigarellos uh, from behind the counter. So you have these situations, these videos coming out. Yeah. CNN still didn't cover that side of the story. Like they still wanted to push the same narrative. So after that, I was like, I think the media is lying to us. Yeah. And from that point on, like my eyes were completely open, but I was still a liberal. I was still a, a still voting Democrat. I hadn't awakened that much in terms of the politics part yet. 
Yeah. But I had become awakened to the fact that the media was lying to us. Mm -hmm. So still supporting Bernie. Uh, the Democrats weren't really on the Black Lives Matter train yet. Then there was a video that came out that showed some Black Lives Matter activists go on stage uh, with Bernie Sanders and they kind of bullied him off the microphone so they can get on the microphone and, and spread their message. I don't know if you've ever seen that video, but at that point I said, okay, is he supporting them? Because he just let them get on stage. Yeah. And that kind of started me down the rabbit hole in terms of politics. And then when Bernie supported Hillary, I said, okay, I'm really done because I hated Hillary Clinton. Like I couldn't stand Hillary Clinton. And then when Trump won, I laughed. Like I still wasn't a, a Republican, still wasn't conservative. But when Trump won, I laughed because I said, you guys should have picked Bernie. Like that was my whole thing. If you would have picked Bernie, then Bernie would have won and you wouldn't have got Trump. So I just laughed. I thought it was funny. Yeah. Like I didn't hate Trump or anything like that. I wasn't one of those people that said, oh, I, I used to hate Trump. And then I became a conservative. Like I, I just didn't care either way. It was yeah. just, I, I wanted my candidate right. and that was Bernie Sanders. So anyway, while I'm going through the motions about the whole Black Lives Matter, and this is still going on. Uh, I had friends that were totally against everything that I said about Black Lives Matter, totally against everything I said about the issues in the Black community. So I had to look for some people who actually agreed with me, right? Because when you feel so alone, yeah. where you're the only person in your circle who has these views and your friends and your family are making you seem like you are crazy. Yes. Like there is something wrong with you. Like all of us believe this, but you believe that. Aren't you the crazy one? Because you're the only one that believes what you believe. Yeah. So you must be crazy. It's true. That's what they do. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and that's what it, that's what it feels like sometimes. So I'm like, you know, thinking the whole, like, am I wrong? Am I wrong for believing what I believe? Because to me, it totally makes sense. Like everything that I feel, everything that I believe, like it totally makes sense to me. Like there's no, there's no um, blaming of other people who have no responsibility for what goes on in our community. There's um, highlighting these issues that have been a, a um, has been a detriment to the black community for years and years and years. Like that was my position. Their position was, well, let's just blame white people for mm -hmm. everything, right? Yeah. And I just couldn't believe that what I was saying was wrong and what they were saying was right. So went on YouTube looking for, some people that just agree with me. Like I had no idea what uh, being a conservative meant or what conservative values were. I just wanted somebody who would agree with me about Black Lives Matter. Like yeah. that's it. So I didn't feel crazy in front of my friends. Right. So I found some conservative commentators, uh, Anthony, Brian Logan, Brandon Tatum, uh, Candace Owens. And I said, wow, I'm not the only one who thinks this stuff. Yeah. And, you know, the more, the deeper I, I went down the rabbit hole, the more I started to realize, like, I'm a conservative. Like, the things that I, I, I feel are important, like, they aligned way more with what conservatives were talking about than what liberals were talking about.